Well, it has been a disappointing day for NASA, a fuel leak and then an engine problem during final liftoff preparations led NASA to call off the launch for its new moon rocket. But the Armitus one could still take off Friday at the earliest and getting to the point of takeoff, of course, takes years of planning. And one man who can certainly relate to that is astronaut Jose Hernandez out of Stockton. Nice to see you this morning. Very nice to see you guys. Uh, thank you very much for the invitation. Uh, happy to talk about Artemis. And though we uh, can't celebrate the launch, we're still excited because oh, yeah. we know it's coming. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> so your your fellow astronaut Scott Kelly cracked me up this morning on Twitter because he tweeted, "Space is hard after this happened," and that is the truth. Sure. So, in real layman's terms, explain what it was that happened this morning and why it needed to be pushed. Yes, uh, what they did is, uh, what they were trying to do is they were doing a, a cryogenic fuel bleed test, which uh, flows fuel towards the RS-25 engines. And one of the engines, the temperature did not come down as expected. And so that's a problem because you either have a clogged line or you have a fuel leak and, uh, and you don't want either one of those uh, for your first mission. And so they, and they're also gonna take advantage of the fact that they also found a crack um, on, on the uh, foam, uh, the insulating of the main tank of cryogenic fuel uh, near a flange. And, and that crack is sucking moist air and because of the cryogenic temperatures, it's turning that air into ice. So there's ice build up in one of those flanges. And so uh, they're taking a look at that also. So, you know, it's expected. It's the very first launch in 11 years that NASA has done with their own spaceship. Mm -hmm. And, and so, uh, so it's the maiden voyage, which is why it's not uh, crewed. Uh, it, it, it's basically the certification flight. Yeah, and so Jose, what do you think about all of this? I mean, like you said, it's not crude, right? So there were um, some test dummies that were going up, but then there are also other armatuses that are planned in the future, in the very near future. Yes, yes, it, it also had 10 CubeSats that are gonna go and be released near the moon. But um, but what you do is, 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 is uh, you instrument the heck out of the crew cabin, make sure the G-forces, the atmosphere, everything works uh, and temperatures work according to plan. Yeah, but Jose, we want to know what you think about all of this. What do you think about this this potential launch coming up on Friday? I'm so excited <laughs> because, I'm so excited because, you know, uh, almost, what, a little over 50 years ago when they launched the very last Apollo mission, Apollo 17, I was 10 years old. Yeah. And, and that's what inspired me to become an astronaut. And so now I'm thinking, I wonder how many 10 year old kids are out there watching Artemis One and, uh, and, and how many people we're gonna inspire uh, to basically uh, reach for the stars. And right. I, hope we do. I hope we inspire a lot of people. You know, you, the next you know, mission. Um, you know the what they might watch? Finish. What they might watch, Jose, is your new movie. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so you've got a new movie coming out. What's, what's oh, the like? Thanks for the, thanks for the plug. And oh, I'm here what? for you. Yeah. And you know what? They're, they start filming today. Oh, wow. Uh, that's incredible. A million incredible. miles away. And, uh, and Michael Pena is going to play my role. And so, uh, so, so, and Rosa Salazar, uh, the actress from Alita, is oh. playing my wife. So they've got the. That's really uh, cool. They've got the cast and they start filming today. So look at it at the Amazon platform, probably uh, mid uh, to late uh, next year. Wasn't he in The Martian? Yes, he was. Yes. He, has <laughs> he has experience as an astronaut. That's why I recommended him. They, I love they that. Me, they That's... asked me, who do you want, who do you want uh, to play you? I said, I think uh, Michael Pena is the right person because uh, he, you know, he has a similar build as I do and uh, and he has experience as well. Right. Well, Artemis Marshall. wasn't firing on all cylinders, but you are. So <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly. great. Thanks for Thank checking in. Much. We appreciate your time and your insight today. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. We'll let people know when the movie comes out, too. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Isn't he fun? Oh, I told I you. I love him. Oh. He's like, what's Jose like? Michael? Yeah. Oh, you're going to love We've him. We've got to get him back. <laughs> <laughs> it's only rocket scientists. You're like, wow, I follow yeah. everything you're saying. Mm -hmm.